Welcome back to another episode of Program That Part. Today we are going to program this dog bone looking dog tag. So first off, I did not design this dog tag. I went in and got a file off Google that was just basically an outline of a dog bone just like this. Then I went to this cool thing online and it's called DXF Image Vectorizer. So I choose that file and I basically choose that and I would output format as DXF and then I would start it. It would download a DXF. A DXF is basically a vector image. So I can import that this way. I can go into insert DXF, select the plane that I want to sketch it on, and then come in here to select DXF file and this is that file. And it would automatically put in this sketch right here of that dog bone. Pretty cool how it works out. So from this sketch, I just extruded it, I added this little keychain thing here, and it's just a couple circles, nothing really to it, and then I extruded those, so that was fairly easy to do. And then I added a little fillet here to make it look nice. But anyway, to the cam side now. So I will be cutting this part out of dock that is 111 thousandths, basically just sheet aluminum, and it's one and a half, this is all rough because I cut it out with a bandsaw card here for that video of where I machined it and one and a half by two inches so this that's basically what I'm cutting it out of and I'm gonna start off by an adaptive and this adaptive will basically act as a facing operation and basically I don't want to do the facing operation because this is much quicker and I have a lot of stock to remove at one time so I just didn't want to waste my time with the facing operation and it's going to be sanded anyway so the, I know the facing operation leaves a little bit of a better finish but it didn't matter in this case because this was all going to get sanded down and then I'm going to do my engraving toolpath and on the modeling side all I did was use this text sketched on this face of this dog bone basically and that would leave me with this sketch here and then I would just go into the engrave and select that select this chain it would just automatically select it for me nothing really to it went in here to get the depth set right I would just select this face and go negative one thousandths and that would just get the the depth that I want of the engraving tool so that would be negative one thousandths down from this face here which worked out pretty good and next I'm going to adapt about this little hole up here and that's where the the key ring goes and this is just an eighth inch end mill running at 5,000 rpm 18 inches a minute at 50 thousandths optimal load nothing to it just selected that little circle there and let it rip went right through and, and it helical down and then cleared everything out just like that right there and next is the outside adaptive so we're just going to cut everything out of here and just leave the keychain select my eighth inch flat end mill 6500 rpm at 20 inches a minute and then just selected this contour here and then selected this arrow to be on the outside and that left everything uh, 20 thousandths optimal load and 5 thousandths radial stock to leave and then we'll clean that up in this contour here and then I'll just clean everything up and make it look real nice and then what's left was a chamfer toolpath and this chamfer toolpath was a little bit rough I selected this right here this outside contour and my chamfer will be 10 thousandths of an inch and I had to use a little bit of my chamfer tip offset to keep it off the ground. If this was the default 0 0.04 then it would be almost hitting the ground basically. This will probably be alright but it's kinda it needs to be up a little bit higher than that. This is the tip. This is that blue line is where the tip will be. So I went ahead and raised that up a little bit and that's why I used the 20 thousandths tip offset. And that just brings it up just a little bit to keep it off the ground. And that's, that's pretty much how I did this one. Not a whole lot there. And it seems pretty simple enough that anybody could really do it. And I sort of messed up a little bit. Instead of this adaptive here, I just did a regular contour around. I started out with that and I still had all this stock out here. That didn't work out so well, so that's why I switched to this adaptive here. And just cut everything out and leaving nothing but the dog bone keychain. But I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I will be sure to get to them. Thanks for watching.